Yeah, so so why should you install the public beta? What what are the big features for you? What what do you think? Well, you get the app lock behind Face ID. Yeah. That's good. You get the of course the customizable um, home screen. Yeah, you can so finally like move that. the icons everywhere. Ooh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and make it ugly. Uh, and then the lock screen customization also, which uh, I hear is pretty pretty cool. You so can, those two icons yeah. that you have on your lock screen, you yeah. can kind of set anything, or are I don't something? know if it's anything, but you have options now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For example, you can set it to open any app you want. Oh, that's which pretty much I yeah, think is pretty, pretty much cool. anything. Yeah, and um, then you also get um, text and iMessages via satellite. Oh, okay. So until now, and they debuted the satellite thing with the iPhone 14. Right, right, right. yeah, that's true. Okay, and uh, yeah, it was only for calls. So basically you don't have reception for from your carrier. You can, if you're like, have a clear view of the sky and no yeah. cloudy conditions and stuff like that, you could make a call via satellite anywhere you are. Yeah, most importantly, you can also text your friends, like, I've arrived to whatever this... Uh, but you can do this now with yeah. iOS 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can also text. Yeah. Very cool feature, by the way, which I didn't know existed. Vehicle motion cues. Yeah, essentially you activate it uh, under accessibility, and then, I'm not really sure exactly how it works, but some dots appear on the screen, and the phone detects when you, when the car, for example, is making a turn or stuff like that, right. or accelerating or decelerating. And then these dots are like some visual cues which move around the screen, like they get smaller and bigger, I think, as the car changes um, its speed, but also when it turns, the dots move around. And I think that is to simulate, like, so that your eyes and brain can detect that there is, in fact, some sort of motion happening. Let's go, green bubbles. Let's go, green bubble. <laughs> green bubble power. So basically, yeah, that's one of the features that is coming in this public beta. It's already available. Many people have already tried it, used it, and it seems to work as advertised, which is great. And it's a big change for, like, of course, like many people use third-party apps like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, whatever you yeah. have out there so for them this this is not an issue but for most people in the u.s that still use the messages app as their default messaging app you know the green bubble curse it's a real thing so yeah what what rcs brings is basically it's a new standard that kind of is an upgraded version of sms or yeah. a newer version of sms we should say and the problem with sms is that somebody just from an Android phone sends you a video or a photo to an iPhone, it appears very low res. It appears very mm. pixelated, it's practically impossible to see. So now finally with RCS on the iPhone, those green bubble videos, <laughs> photos look good, look like they are supposed right. to look and like you get from other iPhones, yeah. which are of course the blue bubbles. So yeah, th this is the big thing. You have high resolution images and videos, then you have read receipts, which is also nice to see. So uh, then, then welcome you, 21st century. Yeah, it feels like, yeah, it feels like a big thing. And then you also have typing indicators, which is cool to see when somebody else is typing. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, you can check out the full episode. The link is in the description.